What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at MIUI 10 Android 9.2 Pi on our Redmi Note 4 Qualcomm so as you can see over here I have almost a two year old phone and it's running the latest version of Android and the latest version of its company skin which is just amazing so even though I thought that Redmi Note 4 would actually see a day where you're going to see like MIUI 10 on Oreo Thanks to Redmi Note 5 cause the processor is just exactly the same and Redmi Note 5 isn't getting Android Pie of course. So I thought that's possible but this day wouldn't come this easily I did expect. Like Android Pie and MIUI 10 and it's just so butter smooth and fluid than compared to the stock ROM which is running like Android Nougat. So as you could see over here it's like basically like any other MIUI ROM but again the device that has saved this day is Mi Max 3. Just like the Redmi Note 3, Mi Max 3 has also saved the Redmi Note 4. For Redmi Note 3, it was the global stable port for it based on the Android Oreo. For this thing, it is the first Pi beta available for the Mi Max 3 ported to the Redmi Note 4. And then again, it's completely usable for the daily use, but I don't recommend it. But if you have some experience in flashing custom ROMs and stuff, you could definitely live with it because it's just amazing. The performance is mind blowing with the new Vulkan API and some added libs by Xiaomi for AI preloading and stuff like the app opening times are just amazing you can just tap the app again open it after a few seconds and stuff it still opens that quick like the AIP loading is pretty quick for a snapdragon 625 phone it's blazing fast but then again let's just explore the ROM again it's still china beta so nothing much over here if you go to the quick settings panel you have your normal stuff if you go to the settings going to the about phone you have android version 9 pi like this is just amazing Rebel has done wonders for these phones and especially the developers with the Redmi Note 4 and Note 5 Pro are extremely talented out of this world. Then you have MI AI Assistant, Second Space, again your normal stuff like Emergency OS in Mi Max 3 which is pretty handy. Then in MI UI Live you don't have much like AI reloading is already available. So find photos in gallery and just the car mode nothing much. Then going back again through the apps nothing much but if you just go to the camera. The camera is from your normal MIUI 10 so you don't get anything much over here but the camera is fully working like the photography stuff the video doesn't work again the short video does work I don't guess it works oh, wow it works pretty great so there are some codec issues I guess that could be easily fixed in the future then again you have photo mode you don't have any AI portrait mode as this is the stock camera from MIUI 10 for the maximum stability so no portrait mode at all from the front too so for that you can easily use your favorite pixel 3 camera again it just works flawless no issues at all you have portrait mode then again video fully works over here with 1080p 60fps and EIS as you can see it's super stable and then let's just talk about the bugs so the remaining bugs over here are the torch doesn't work actually through the quick settings panel so for example if you enable flashlight it doesn't work but if you go to the camera turn it to on as you can see it fully works so there is like a framework issue over there so you can surely use any kind of third party app such as godly torch which has its own toggle and it's Android Pi so you can definitely add it over here. Then again the brightness ladder again as like any kind of MIUI ports it's just dead between this part then again it works over here which is like a common issue in MIUI ROMs. Then the backlit keys over here at the bottom doesn't work which I mean I don't complain they completely blend into the body as you can see it looks completely awesome. You can also use your normal gestures as you can see and it just saves the battery so I'm not complaining at all. And that's basically it for the bugs. I mean the voltage stability is kind of questionable with these ported ROMs. I mean Geo works but Airtel and IDEA can't actually confirm. But let's just get to the installation of this thing. So it's pretty easy to install but I surely recommend to have you a bit of a knowledge in custom ROM. So if you don't already have installed a custom recovery like Twerp, surely watch videos on it, install it and let's just hop onto your PC. So once you're onto your PC, you would need these two files. Yes, just these two files and an unlocked phone and a phone with custom recovery. So let us continue with the first zip which would be the Mi Max 3 Pi. You have to just extract it over here. Once you extract the folder, then just grab your phone, power it off. Once it powers off, hold on your power and volume up at the same time to enter the top recovery. Go to wipe and if you are coming from the stock MIUI ROM, you do have to format your data. So I will just do that quickly over here by typing in yes, correct. There you go, go back, wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik system, vendor, data, cache. Swipe to wipe. This will completely clean your phone. Then go to backup and just backup anything like normal your system. Go home, then hop onto your PC. And as you can see, our phone is connected over here. So go to the internal storage. There you go to a folder, backups. Go to the parent folder and just delete in the current backup. Then open the Mi Max 3 folder and copy everything inside it just like this 
Once all the files have been copied, just go to the internal storage and copy this camera API to zip over here. This will help enable the Hull 3, which would enable you to use the Pixel 3 camera. Then just close everything, sell your laptop or PC on the eBay, it doesn't matter. Then grab your phone again, swipe to unlock, go to restore, select your backup and just swipe to restore. Once the backup has been installed, just go back, go to home, go to install, select the camera API to zip, confirm to flash. Reboot system, do not install. And voila, you have successfully upgraded your Redmi Note 4 into MIUI 10 Android Pi. And to my surprise, I was extremely wrong about the booting time. It didn't take 10 minutes, it only took like 30 seconds. So again, I will just complete the setup quickly cause the brightness isn't adjustable over here, but just complete it your normal way. And we are back. Now, as you can see, there is no Play Store over here. So I will leave a link in the description for an app. It's just basically a Google installer in Chinese. You have to just tap install at the bottom. It will guide you through and just install activate button over there inside it. And you will get a completely working Google Play Store working on your Mi Max 3. Yep. And the remaining bugs in the software are, as this is the first build, you can't sign into your Mi account. The auto brightness sensor needs to be calibrated and you can't use your normal themes, yes. I mean the wallpaper would actually just change but the themes wouldn't. Like this is the classical theme but my icons are still like the classic one. So I hope you understand, just wait for it to fix it. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe, drop a like and see you guys in the next one. Peace.